Hey everyone, welcome back. We are, today we are doing more of This is the Police. Just let me make sure everything is going out right on my end, and we will get started. Well, that's not what I wanted. You shouldn't still be, uh, doing that right now, since I'm broadcasting. But yeah, so, for those of you who weren't here last time, we... Uh, discovered that not working for the mob is not an option. Um, so now, um, I'm trying to do just enough to survive. And, uh, a mob war is brewing and we are going to be, um, I've chosen to work with, uh, Christopher Sands, the, uh, older mob boss who's been around rather than uh, dealing with the new guys. Okay, everything looks good now. Let's get this started. Let me turn this down just a hair. Okay, so Corn Monument to be demolished by Summer's End. City administration to finance dance festival. And Francis Kendrick won't succeed Jack Boyd. Which, I mean, being dead is definitely a pretty good indicator of not being able to uh, succeed me. Uh, looks like the janitor has been around to clean the toilets today. I don't know about you, but I care about the cleanliness and my intimates. Can I go home? Um, oh man, I can't see. Oh, I've got three of you today. I, uh, yes. I'm suffering from an extremely severe anxiety attack. I can't concentrate on anything. Can I go home? Yeah, you're, you're one of my best, but you, uh, uh, I'll let you go this time. Okay. Uh, don't really care one way or another, so we'll just pick one at random. Okay. Let's see what the day holds. Uh, war. Freeburg's first mafia war in decades has spread chaos across the streets. Major criminal gangs vie for power, and outcomes of... The outcome of the struggle is impossible to predict. One thing is certain, a couple of weeks from now, only one family will rule the city. Uh, let's see. Funeral for Asano. Uh, Tsubaki. Take care of the hero. Ja oh, yeah, it was accomplished. Uh, okay, uh, let's... Let's see. Attempted murder residential area. A passerby rang on the rang the police when she saw a naked man running through the streets, pursued by a woman carrying a large butcher knife, the witch and was shouting, I'll gut you, you fucking faggot. Oh, this is not good. Um, Wilson Stovall and Robbins. Uh, let's take a look at affairs real quick. I can't hire anybody else, okay. Two more days for my request. Sans, I'm not doing... Any of that. Uh, do I have any active investigations? I don't. Okay. Let's see. Sands need help. City center. Varga stirred up some punks, and they went and, went and attacked one of the family right in the barbershop. Varga sent our own men, but we don't know how many scumbags we're up against. Can you, you can come. You can come join the party, but don't get in our way. Um, I don't really want to get my officers involved in this. Setting them to respond to calls or just not responding to calls is one thing. Uh, reporting attempted murder. Fender caught officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Okay. Ooh, hit and run. Let's see. An unknown vehicle struck librarian Kimmick Cal. Kalinowski at a pedestrian crossing and drove off. The victim was found dead on the scene. Uh, we'll send Davenport. I'll have him solo just in case the, uh, um, just in case another investigation comes up. It may not, but I'd rather keep it in my back pocket. Hit and run investigation has started. Uh, let's see. This dark colored car comes tearing around the corner, hopped the curb, and kept on going. Knocked the man over, didn't even slow down. 
not long before the crash, I kicked a couple of drunks out of the bar. They were having a fight with some of my regulars. A few days ago, Dad had a fight at work with a couple of young people who were causing a ruckus at the library. The whole thing almost came to blows. They threatened him before they left. Saw two people in the car. They went right by me. Man in the passenger seat had a beard. Uh, Klimek thought he was being followed. He said he w saw the guy everywhere. Said it looked like someone had some problem with him at the library. Well, that consists that uh, goes along with some of the other things we saw. Uh, let's see. Sands need help. Mr. Sands' nephew looked out his window and saw some of Vargas' men smashing one of his cars. Looks like someone needs to go remind them that that kind of behavior is illegal. See, this case, you know, it's a bunch of punks destroying something. I can, uh, I can send someone for that one, but I'm not going to send my guys into the middle of a shootout. This, this is practically a police call. Uh, let's see. Massacre at Eddie's Burger. A girl entered Eddie's Burger, ordered a Diet Coke, and started shooting at the other customers with a handgun. The cashier called the police, and in the background, there were gunshots and screams. Meanwhile, the crazy young woman is shouting, I hate fat people. Uh, oof, do I want to send SWAT? I'm going to. We know there's at least. I'll send Smith and Samadhi. I most likely uh, will have wasted the SWAT and need him at some other point, but I'd rather... I know there's shots fired in this case, and probably some dead people involved already from this. Robbins is on his way back from helping Sands. Uh, fender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Okay... Armed robbery, city center. Alarm came in from an armored truck. Armed men have blocked the blocked the street. Shut out the armored truck's tires and are trying to seize the bags of money. Okay, we're going to send three of you. Three of my best. Then they'll all get massacred and I'll be fucked. <laughs> um, please carry me. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how this goes. <clears throat> Let's see. Armed Rice says a narrow street is blocked by two vans near the armored truck. Three armed masked men have surrounded the truck, and one of them is carrying a blowtorch. On the roof of one van is a fourth criminal who shouts something at his accomplices as he sees the officers approach. Um, you're surrounded. Surrender peacefully. Criminals take out their automatic weapons and open fire. Hide behind a patrol car and fire from cover. <laughs> Fender caught, officers unharmed. Yes. Oh, you two get. Fight at the dump. A night watchman during his rounds followed some noises to discover several homeless people fighting over a bundle that was lying on the ground. Send Smith and Robbins out on that. Hey, you're back. That's good. It's actually been a pretty quiet day. I'm kind of surprised. <clears throat> I figured a lot more would be going on. Ooh. Situation more serious than we thought. Requesting back reinforcements. Samadhi Vandal. Yeah, I couldn't send the paddy wagon. Hit and run report. Got three new frames. Let's open the investigation. Uh, let's look at my frames. Two people. Uh, uh, went by me. Man, pasture seat had a beard. Okay. So. Um, that. I don't remember them saying anything about them. Uh, hitting anything. Thought he was being followed. If you did, can blows. They're having a fight with some of my regulars. 
Came down around the corner, hopped a curb, and kept on going. So, whoops. So those three frames seem to fit. I don't know necessarily that order. We're still missing at least one frame. But I can always rearrange them later, but all those seem to fit. Let's see about the fight. Huh. Sorry about that, everyone. I had to sneeze. So, offenders caught, officers unharmed, which is good. It should be nearing the end of the day now. Yep. And the day, that was actually a pretty quiet day. Oh. Jack Varga is strong, but he can't compete on equal terms with the oldest criminal gang in Freeburg. Just make sure the sand stays ahead on points and we'll have nothing to worry about. Okay, so... That's how this works. Okay. So I need to... Um... Keep an eye on that. I'm got to do. I'm got to be more proactive in helping Sands, I guess. Day fourteen. City crime rate increased by thirty-one percent. Freeburg farmers report record harvest. Mayor's nephew expresses desire to become FPD chief. Of course he does. That doesn't surprise me. Let's see, Yancey, last few. Months I've been taking antidepressants three times a day, but the day around my prescription. Former said they're getting more in tomorrow, but I'm afraid without my pills, I'm going to be not much good. My mind keeps digging up all kinds of disturbed thoughts. Can I go home? <sighs> yes, he's good enough. Oh, I need to hire more on B shift. I don't have enough. Get another bit of background music going. Let's see. I think I gotta wait one more day before I can put in a request. Yeah. Okay, so I'm got to be a little bit more proactive in helping Sands if I want to keep him in business. See, Sands need help. Our people were scouting ahead of Mr. Sands' movements and we spotted a punk carrying a gun. There's sure to be a few more bastards looking nearby. Let's get together and turn the tables. Oh, man, if I send Austin, she's likely to be killed. Oh, that's going to scare me. Send Austin and Vasquez. Oh, why didn't it... Oh, I have to send three. Shit. Um, wait till it gets a little closer. See if anything comes up. You know what? Oh, Destruction of property, the attendant at the arcade called in a play about two teenagers who broke the steering wheel off the turbo natural machine. They are currently fleeing the scene. Send in Kochi. And I'll I'll send in Austin Vasquez and Purdy. Oh lord, this is not gonna go well. This is where this is gonna start getting tense. Cause now I gotta manage to the crimes and helping the sands. Which I've gotta get uh, um you just assigned the wife of the mayor's press secretary loves choral singing. Today's her birthday, so please send some men with good voices. Oh, God. I I don't have it. I can't. I've only got two officers left. Let's see. Report destruction of property. Fender caught officers un officer unharmed. Okay. Purdy, Vasquez, and Austin came back, so that's good. If I'd known they were on their, if I'd noticed they were on their way back, I'd have probably could have sent a couple people. Legal arm sales, ghetto. Um, eyewitness reports that a man is selling weapons on the street right out of the trunk of his car. Someone is getting shot every night around here. You need to finally do something. Um, send Bookerica and Kingston. Hey, hey, hey! You guys leave the cat alone. What has gotten into you two today? Oh, you're not allowed to have the zooms right now. I'm working. 
Uh, okay, nothing's gonna come from the investigation today because the lead investigator's off duty. Uh, situation's more serious. Um, we'll send Purdy and Vasquez. Oh lord. Those of you who have never had a puppy who's going through the zooms, oh, you're missing out. It is something to see. Firefight port. Dock workers side several armed men making their way between some cargo con containers. Soon after you hear several shots and screams. Uh, the precise number of armed men is unknown, but poor officials report seeing at least five people. SWAT, Paddy Wagon, Kochi, and Austin. Oh, boy. Little arms sales report. Okay, offender caught officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Loot found, non-automatic weapons. We'll bring it to the police station. Okay, you guys are coming back. Thank God. Uh, Sands need help. Road. One of our minor deliveries got intercepted by some fucking punks. Boxes of towels, napkins, and various cooking utensils that were supposed to be going to the ranch are now scattered across the highway like a circus show. They're having a laugh and making us look like clowns, too. We're not too broken up about the towels, but we still need to teach those punks a lesson. I gotta wait for an officer to come back. Because, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, assaulting a vehicle and all that stuff. Oop. The police detachment arrived on the scene, found three corpses and six criminals armed with automatic weapons surrounding a cargo container. The criminals spotted the police and two of them already rushed to escape. Um, that gave them a chance to surrender. The main criminals are hiding inside the shipping container. Uh, improvise a way to smoke them out. Offender caught, officers unharmed. Whoo! Loot found, cocaine. Oh, the Mafia could sell for a lot of money, I'm sure, but we'll bring it to the police station. Oh, the road. Um, okay. Okay, they're not quite back yet. There we go. We'll send Vasquez. Utrecht Bieber at the city center. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, Mr. Boyd, I feel bad about coming to you again, but it's really the only one who can help me with this. The records that my ex sued me for. Well, I got them back, of course, and I guess it could be nothing. But her big-nosed brother has sights on them. They didn't even hire a private detective who's been at my store three days straight. Now he has the audacity to come to my house and accuse me of being involved with the record's disappearance. I don't know if he has any evidence, but the risk is just too high. Can you scare them both? Make sure that to stop poking their nose in other people's business. My store's open for you anytime. Harley, no. Um, I ain't getting involved in that. That one's not... That's That one's a little too criminal. Suspicious individual, former psychiatric patient, Laboco Clark, called the police because, quote, a maniac was harassing people at the mall. According to Laboco, there's a killer on the loose who will stop at nothing. I'll send Kingston and Purdy. Let's see, Kochi and Austin are on their way back. Yeah, uh, I'm not getting involved with the the record stuff. He's this isn't the first time it's come up. I just uh, want nothing to do with that. Let's see, Vasquez is on his way back. Special individual port man's suspicions were aroused by a shopping center employee wearing a costume. He was dressed as the hero from the movie, dressed in blood. He was praying to menace visit visitors as part of the fun, but he wasn't going to kill anyone. Yeah, gotta love false alarms. Still have another couple hours left in the day, so anything could happen. But it doesn't seem like much ha uh, really happens in the last couple hours of the day. Come on. And there's two. <clears throat> Sands three, Vargas three. Well, at least it's tied now. End the day. Up day 15. July 20. Mayor proves his commitment to nepotism. Mayor Rogers, if my nephew wants to lead the police, I support him. See police chief not elected position, says Mayor Rogers. Uh, yeah, I don't 
yeah, chief of police is an elected position, so you can appoint anyone, but, you know, having somebody who's not done any police work and made chief of police is a, a really bad idea. Let's see. My dog died yesterday. I feel terribly depressed. Can I go home? Oh, uh, shit. You're my lead investigator. I need you here. I I can't. He's my lead investigator. I need... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to hold off. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to transfer one of the guys from... A shift to B shift, because this isn't. I'm, I've got way more on the one than the other. Let's see, affairs, police station, St. Robbins, move to shift B. So that should be about evened out. Um, City Hall, one need another officer, SWAT upgrade. Might as well ask for the raise. Hire female cops. Considering certain recent events, we are obligated, we are obliged to grant some concessions to the feminists. You are to make sure that you at least half the staff at the police station are women. You have three days. Let's see. So it's like this whole section is male. Oh, shit. Who's in the labor market? I've got one, two... Got two officers and a detective that's female. Um, this is the one full of my good officers. I don't think I can fire any of them. I've only got one here. I've got two on the other. I think so. There's three officers out of what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of sixteen. Uh, shit, I can't put him for another detective. Damn it! Suicide threat at the bridge. Uh, taxi driver heard someone screaming and noticed a few people gathering on the bridge as he was driving past towards the port. He stopped to see if anyone needed help, but as he approached, he saw the man was threatening to throw himself and two children into the icy water below. Uh, Jason left us. I lost my job in the house, and there's no way we'll survive. It's better if everything just ends now. To the taxi driver, it looked like suicide. <sighs> okay, this is not great. We'll send Prado and Vandal. So, let me double check. How many officers have I got? Grand total. Oh, wait a minute, labor market. 16 of... The 16, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four women, so I need that to be, I would need that to be eight. Oh, crap. Um, uh, I've got nothing to fire him on. Un uh, I think I don't think I have a reason for Moser. Damn it! I can't just fire them. Shit. Uh, let's see, breaking and entering. An elderly man speaking in a raspy whisper just reported a break in. There's someone in my house. They're pounding on the door and marching all around downstairs. Hurry. Uh, we'll send Smith and Samadhi. Well, I kind of not mess with Robbins too much. That way, uh, I don't wear him down for the next day. Oh, shit. What am I going to do? So I need, uh, let's see. Two tearful boys, clearly in a state of shock, are standing dangerously close to the edge of the bridge. Beside them, they're drunk and distraught father, slowly pushing the children closer to the precipice. Don't worry there. Things will be fine. Don't be upset, my friend. Tell me about your husband. Uh, don't be upset, my friend. Tell me about your wife. I mean, it said Jason left us. I'm just going to be generic for now. Don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. Strong gust of wind almost blows one of the children off the bridge, but he's recovered at the last moment and stumbled to the ground with a scuffed knee. Uh... 
that's a tough one. Because, yeah, if I rush to aid the kid, he could just suddenly jump and pull him down with him. Uh, I don't want to agitate him, but... Uh, I'm afraid if I do with the look quit fooling around, these children have already suffered enough. That he, oh, I'm going to try not to agitate the man. Manslayer's word says there's no point delaying the inevitable. Uh, think of the people who care about you, point gunman, order them to step away. Children have to... Uh, Yes, your children have their whole lives in front of them. You can't make this decision for them. Whew. Fender caught officers in harm, civilians unharmed. That would have been close. Sorely conduct at the business center. Secretary Abigail Jones told the police that her boss, Martin Cabock, returned from a meeting in quite a state. When he entered, he took a bag of white powder from his safe and shut the door. Now he's yelling incessantly and making a scene, demanding that his secretary deliver him the head of a unicorn, or will cut her throat with a letter opener and then go after the rest of her family. Somebody is high as fuck. There is no doubt. Well, calling him high is not exactly the right phrasing. Uh, destruction of property, church. A uh, young drunken biker broke into the church, rode around between the pews, defiled the sacred crucifix, and fled the scene. Send put Beasley on it. Of oh, the breaking and entering report. There was no one except the dog in the house. There was a scratch they were scratching at the door because they wanted to go outside. Uh disorderly conduct report. Fender caught officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Found cocaine. Bring to the police station. I'm sure I could get way more money. The Sands need help. Octopus at restaurant. Remember, the family was out at the restaurant having dinner with his secret lover, but because the affair was secret, he was light on protection. One of Varga's agents was able to slip a grenade into the room. This job is best handled by the police, unofficially, of course. I mean, there's a guy in there with a grenade. I, I, I've got to send officers, because that's putting more than just the mobster at risk. Hey, hey, hey. Knock it off, you two. Oh, boy. Oh, hush. Oh, I don't care how much you want to play. You can play with her all you want, just don't be loud about it. Oh, destruction property investigation started. Ooh, there's a lot of events. I'm going to the Sunday service for 36 years, and this is the first time I've seen such a disgrace. Some crazy young man on a motorcycle drove straight through the doors of the God's Temple and began running around, shouting blasphemy. He even dared raise his hand to Holy Father Nunez. What is this with the youth today? Um, there we go. It all happened so quickly, the guy drove straight between the pews, almost crushing a parishioner. He Then he looked into the confessional and threw in a bottle. He ran up to me and shouted, The devil sits on the roof of the church. Then he shoved me. I fell to the floor, and the crazy man shouted, My hand is hard as stone. I'll knock you out of the saddle, Satan. Then he threw his helmet at the cross above the altar and sped away. I was in the confessional when it happened. I was waiting for Father Nunez to finish his sermon so he could hear me. I have sinned so much this week. As I was sitting in the confessional, I heard noises of an engine, like a motorcycle. There was a roar, and a man shouted, Come, Lucifer, don't hide from me. A few seconds later, a young man in a black leather jacket opened the door of the confessional and yelled, I will seek out the devil wherever he may hide, and threw a bottle at me. A shard struck my face. At the crime scene, we found a black helmet with a white spot on top. On the pavement near the church, we found traces of th from three motorcycle tires. Interesting you'd find three. Oh, relax, you. Calm down. You're so energetic. Uh, hostage situation with a fatal casualty. Man wearing a suit walked into the lobby of the bank, locked the doors, and proceeded to kill several customers. He never said a word. He just started firing at people, reported one eyewitness. A dozen people were made inside the building, and the criminal demands are yet unknown. We're going to send SWAT, send Prado, and Powers. I'll probably have to send reinforcements, but I'll hold off. If I need to send reinforcements, I'll send it, but... With two officers and SWAT, that may be enough. Let's see. But yeah, I definitely like this. Oh, yep. Re need reinforcements. Um, Smith, Samadhi, 
and Van Dahl. Leave me with four officers. Should be enough. Sands need help. Suburbs. Sweet girl named Anna is one of our key assets in a large accounting firm. She just got home from work and found her house is on fire, and the assholes that started are still standing there around admiring her handiwork. Wouldn't it be pretty if someone cracked open their skulls and tossed them onto the flames? Oh. This is going to be a... Uh... Oh, Lord. I mean, killing them's bad, but... Oh, hello. You little stinker. A uh, hostage situation with failed casualty. Offender escaped. Officers unharmed. Civilian killed. God damn it. Wow. As many officers as I sent. Really? Wow. Oh, hush you. That's just... That's more surprising than anything. Let's see. Marniac and Robbins are on their way back. I hate getting officers involved with shit like that. Because... That's just going to structure a property report. Got three new frames. Hit and run report. Got three new frames. Okay, we'll start with this. Said it was a dark colored car. So that one goes there. Um... Let's see, so... Well, let's pull these back for now. Come on. Maybe this one. This one. Nah. Oh, dang, I didn't want to clear all of them. Dang it. Come on. Uh... Oh, I didn't want that. Maybe... I still, I still think it was... Let's go to the investigations. We'll look at destruction of property. Okay. So let's see. Threw the bottle in. Threw that the crucifix. So we drove in first. I need more frames before I can fill out, put the order right. Unless the dark colored car was black rather than maroon. That's the only thing I can think of. Said it hit the curb, but they didn't mention the trash cans. That's the only thing I could think of. Sands 5, Vargas 5. Oh, man, we're just keeping it uh, um, nice and even. I gotta get them ahead. Hopefully, they'll let me hire another officer. Businessman Express, desire to leave city. Movie production studio may appear in Freeburg. 86% of residents oppose demolition of Corn Monument. Okay. Uh, I'm going to promote Austin. Give her a little bit of a boost. Do some show pawn. Two more days to hire. Hall request SWAT upgrade was approved. Okay. Let's see, increase efficiency will work two times a day. Ooh. Um. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Have one more police officer. Uh, 350. It changes daily. So we'll put Susie. We'll hire her for shift B. Oh, 
I make temp. I got up. I got a. Uh... Okay. So let's see. Uh, Stovall's not doing great. Oh, whoops. Wrong one. What's my labor market looking like? I'll wait and do that tomorrow because I want to see. If I've got to get some women in there. I hate firing a good officer, but. Let's see, Sans need help. Sans family's main attorney is under guard around the clock. And that goes double for his children. But before we could pick them up from school this morning, some of Vargas' punks kidnapped him. We don't know how Varga found them. They live under false names. Anyway, you'll need to act quickly. They haven't couldn't have gotten far. Yeah, that's a kidnapping. That is a police bit matter. I will definitely get involved in that. It's nice being able to get my use my SWAT team twice a day now. That definitely is a a nice little boost. Fight Freeburg Elementary. Two senior students began fight right in the middle of the chemistry class. Teacher Dolores Ponder first tried to calm them down, but when she attempted to separate them, she was poked in the eye. Uh, send Robbins and Austin. Theft. Museum of Feeling and Fine Art. Feelings and Fine Art. At night, a little-known painting from Dutch master De Vroom recently showed for the first time. Appeared from the museum. Disappeared from the museum, sorry. One of the museum's windows was broken. There's a brick lying on the floor inside. We'll send Mole and Armstrong. See, drug sales, St. John's Hospital. Mrs. Dun Miss Dunbar said that a nurse tried to sell her drugs right in the hospital. I went to the doctor after I broke my arm. The nurse heard me complaining about the pain and waited until the doctor left. And then she started telling me about the pills she could get me. Better than Vicodin, according to her. Send. Uh, it's, yeah, we'll send that, the two of them. Because, yeah, Yancey and Coach are on their way back. The investigation has started. Rafael Campos, museum guard. I walk to the museum every hour. The alarm is off. City Hall won't allocate money to fix it. I didn't hear glass breaking. It's a big museum. When I went down this way again, it was already morning. The window was broken and the canvas was cut from the frame. There's no trace of anyone around, just a brick lying on the floor. The parking lot was empty all night in the morning. A cyclist went past with a tube on his shoulder. The guy slowly rolled into the parking lot, then left the bike for a couple of minutes and went out of sight. They came back, got on the bike, and left. That sounds like some. That sounds like painting theft. Let's see, Mr. Vanderhoff. I suffer from insomnia and often go cycling around the city late at night. I took a tube and some other equipment so I wouldn't have to go back home before my morning classes at the art school. Stopped at the museum to pee. I admit it. I like to mark the corner of the building. Imagine one day my mark will be hanging inside. Oi. In his lectures on the work of Dutch master Brown, Brom Vanderhoff always sharply criticized the works of Vroom. He dismissed the legendary artist as overpriced mediocrity and was very amused when the unknown de Vroom painting was discovered in the city dump. He said it was already in its proper place. He was less amused when he learned that the de Vroom painting would be hung in the museum. Wouldn't be surprised if it was Broom, Bram who broke into the museum and stole the painting, to burn it or cut it into tiny pieces. Glass is almost completely broken, a grown man could easily climb through the window and not cut himself. Most shards are lying on the pavement outside the museum. If most of the shards are on the outside, then the glass would have been broken from the inside. So somebody would have had already been in there. Pour on the fight. Under caught, officers not harmed. Go. It's a drug sales report. Offender escaped, officers unharmed. God damn it. Found cocaine. Well now.
It's a boy, I'm a wealthy man, and I'm concerned about the fate of our fair city. I would like to fund three additional officer positions at your police department. My mom must make one position. My adopted son is to take one of the new jobs. Of course, you mustn't fire him under any circumstances. Do we have a deal? Oh. I could use three more officers. I'm going to take the deal. Uh, so let's see. Labor market. Um... Uh, who's his? Wait a minute. Uh, duh, 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 duh. If I got a backlog. Uh, Sans need help. Let me do that real fast. Some goons, goons grabbed the half sister. One of the family members were out the street. Her driver called us from a nearby payphone, but he's a wimp and couldn't actually do anything. The description we got sounds like Vargas men. If you get there first, hold on to them for us. Don't hurt them too much. Just make sure you don't let them escape. We have something plan planned for them. Oh. That's the one who was hired. Uh, actually, hold on. We're going to send Percy and Kingston. I hate saying Kingston because he's a good officer, but if I have to send someone, I'll uh, let's look at the labor market. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that till tomorrow. See if the uh, uh, things change. But yeah, if I ra if somebody's gotta get killed, I'd rather have Percy be amongst them. I can't let him get fired, but if he gets killed on the job, I know, I know that's really bad, but he is a terrible, terrible officer. Robbery, park valet, just called air imported girl exiting. Expensive car was approached by a man wearing a hood who threatened her and took her bag. San Yancey and Bucarica. <laughs> Things are taking an interesting turn. Assault with an offensive weapon. Old prisoner, tired of eating food served by a prison cafeteria, made his way to the kitchen carrying a shiv, intent on having a word with the chef. Guard called the police as he was reluctant to enter the kitchen for fear of further pr provoking the prisoner. Sent Percy uh, and Vasquez. Pour on the robbery. Better caught officers unharmed. Good. Well, hopefully tomorrow I get a couple more female officers on the higher list. Definitely help my numbers. Kitchen floor is decorated with broken plates and overturned pan filled with muddy slush. The early prisoner is sitting in front of us, sitting on a stool, dipping his hands into the pot of slush and shoving it toward the cook's face, yelling, You try eat this shit. Uh, let's go to something else. It takes a minute. Hey, we've got a couple of nice warm burgers here. You're lucky to get you get fed at all. That one, in some ways, is true. All the points on why you're in there. Um, we'll try to entice him. Damn. Offender escape. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. They can't fire Percy. Oh God, this may be one where I have to actually take up Sands on his offer of having an officer assassinated. I won't have to spend that kind of money. That's getting pretty quiet. Theft report. Got three new frames. Let's look at the investigation. Let's look at the frames. Let's see the brick. Going after the painting. I mean, we know they took the painting, but if most of the glass is on the outside, then the glass would have had to be broken from the inside. So why would the brick be inside? I mean, that's one of the things that doesn't add up. We don't have enough frames as it is. Yes, you throw a brick at a glass window, 
most of the glass is going to go inside. Some of it's going to come outside, but most of it's going to go in with the brick. Let's see how it's going. 7-6. Sands in the lead. That's good. Okay. Shift B. Percy has no energy. Day 17. Citizen earnings have fallen 9% since New Year. Employment in Freeburg is lowest in history. Former City Hall employee admits official unemployment data far from reality. I'll believe that. So let's see who wants out today. Uh, I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Yeah, Oshiro's pretty messed up. Uh, yes. One, two, three, four. I'm down to six officers today. Go some Ludwig Vaughn. Check the affairs, police station, labor market. Oh, God, it hasn't gotten any better. Tomorrow's the deadline. God. All I could do is fire a bunch of people, which I can't really do because I don't, and I don't have anyone on the... And the people I can hire are just terrible. Sorderly conduct, suburb, elderly Emma Watson, Weston. I said, I almost said Emma. I started to say Emma Watson. That would have been diff interesting. Calling a complaint about her neighbors. Her house is shaking from loud sounds of gnashing metal and the roar of turbines, accompanied by some strange beeping noise. Uh, though the wind through the window, she saw people moving around. Um, I'm gonna send Smith because I have a feeling it's not something as bad as it sounds. God, I can't hire enough women. Fuck. City will not be pleased with me. Hostage situation with fatal casualty. Broadville Asylum. Patients at the local asylum rebelled against the nurses during breakfast. Three nurses have been wounded while others remain locked in with patients in the dining area. They threaten to kill one nurse every hour until released. Paddy Wagon, SWAT, Samadhi, and Vandal. That's pretty rough. It's early conduct report. Fender escaped, officer unharmed. Damn it. Okay, it was something then. Shit. Oh, Harley, hush. Oh, enough of that. Uh, let's see. Uh, reporters and onlookers are gathered around the building. The sound patients are watching the growing crowd from the windows of the third floor. Uh, we're calling a negotiator. Offenders call, offender call officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Whew. Thank God. And there's no way to refresh my labor market, huh? No women to hire. Nobody worth hiring. I mean, a little work, they'll get better, but still. Reckless endangerment. Friend woman phoned in reporting that two men dressed in armor were running through the street shouting, Beware our stings! They're, they were chasing passersby and swinging their blades at them. They've not yet done any harm, but their swords are da uh, seem dangerous enough. Yeah. That's going... Uh, uh, you know, doing a little fun stuff like that's one thing, but yeah, uh, especially when you're going after people who are not in in on the the fun, that can definitely uh, uh, pose a risk. And they, the blades could be fake, but it's hard to say. Fender caught officers unharmed. Let's see, Sands need help. No friend visiting Mr. Sands and they're planning on going horseback riding, but the owner of the country club just called. He wasn't making much sense, but it sounds like some punks are beating Mr. Sands' horse to death. 
Send Vandal. Yeah. I mean, I don't care how much you go after a guy. That's taking it too far. The animal's not done anything wrong, and I don't care how much they like it. You leave them alone. It's been pretty quiet. There's not been as much going on recently. I'm kind of surprised. Vandal's on his way back. Noise complaint. Klim Yuryev reports that suspicious people are constantly going in and out of an apartment next door. Carrying big bags, make a lot of noise, screaming. His three sons can't concentrate on their homework. So Yuryev urges, someone's got to show these bandits who's boss. Send Smith, Samadhi, uh, and I'll send Marniak. I think I can afford to send three this late in the evening. There's only four hours left. Not a lot usually happens here at the end. But yeah, I've definitely been liking this. Let's see. Sans need help. Um, the whole mob of Vargas people attacked a truck belonging to one of our companies. The truck's carrying some important cargo, the kind only Mr. Sand and his deputies know about. The driver tried to call us, but we lost the connection. He may already be dead. You've got to stop these assholes before they make off with the goods. As is, they attacked a truck. I've got to get Vargas, you know, downhill. Caught, found automatic weapons. Bring to the police station. Hopefully this is... This turns out not to be a, a terrible idea. I'm not going to make the deadline. It's a destruction of property report. Got some new frames. Let's see. Kicked him. Drove through there. They say he shoved him. Let's see. I need... Uh, let's see, he drove straight between the pews, almost crushing a parishioner. Then looked in the confessional and threw the bottle. Uh, yelled. Shoved him. Then threw his helmet and sped away. Okay. So, let's see. Drove through the pews. Threw the bottle in the confessional. Knocked him over. Suspect Gregory Pl Poltson Biker. Ugh, damn it, I don't know why I started doing that. Let's see, uh. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Gregory Poltson is continue has continued pursuing the devil in the bottom of a glass. It's a Marniac and Samadhi. Oh, Harley, calm down. Hit and run report. Let's, see, let's open the investigation. Okay, so let's clear all these frames. Let's see, we'll go uh, here. Actually, I think they're in order. Uh, doesn't show hitting the curb. Um, passenger has a beard. That's the one that doesn't seem to fit. Blood on the car. I don't know what I'm missing there. Oh, I'm waiting for some stuff to finish up. That's why it's not letting me... Destruction of property report. Fender caught. Good. Case closed. You're able to arrest all suspects. End the day. Oh, excuse me. 9-7. Okay. That's good. We're sticking in the lead. And the day. Oh, this is not going to be nice. I to have the police... I uh, have the mayor's office bitching at me. Former mafia member bemoans city hall corruption. Mayor declined services of spokesman. I speak for myself. 
Chief physician at St. John Hospital accused of slander. I wonder what he said. Uh, I'm too tired. I can only walk straight. Yeah. I'm glad to not have Percy around, actually. So let's show Pawn. Gary Paulson turned out to be a member of a gang known as the Wheels of Empire. He could help you take down the gang if you make him an informant. Uh, we'll accept. Start to investigate, Anton. We'll put Kurzma on the lead. And I failed. It's not my fault I didn't have any females to hire, and I couldn't hire... Uh, God damn it, nothing, huh? Nobody great either to begin with. Oh, crap, that was quick. Uh, let's see, two homeless men made their way into a local bakery under cover of darkness, where they ate their fill and bedded down for the night. The morning bakery owner, Gregory Martinez, along with cashier Anna Lucas, went inside and discovered the damage. The homeless men, armed with knives, weren't happy to be disturbed and attacked the victims. Shopkeeper managed to escape, but the cashier, escaped, but the cashier remained inside with the homeless men who were tear seen tearing off her clothes. I have to send Vasquez, too. Yes, I'd hire more female cops if there were more to hire. Sands need help. True Color Hotel. After the incident with the horses, we secretly transferred Mr. Sands' guest to a local hotel and set up guard outside his door. Suddenly we're here from the bathroom. We'll break down the door. The police presence wouldn't hurt. Send Austin. I had susp uh, let's see, armed robbery investigations. Let's see. Some jewelry was being transported in a black van. The sides of the van was decorated with the Diamond Protection Security Agency logo. There was one security guard armed with a pistol. There were three bikers armed with submachine guns. Anton Trekia Tre eh. Tretyakov and his associates were traveling on bikes painted with camouflage colors. At the time of the robbery, the van was passing a few cars. The drivers of these vehicles reported that the first biker jumped the median and went straight for the van head-on, like a suicidal madman. The van tried to avoid a collision off the road and overturn. Robbers took everything of value from it. We were about to leave when a bloodied guard emerged from the van's cabin open fire. The bikers emptied their weapon at him and fled. I'm guessing the invest the... Uh, report on this. Fender caught officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Thank God. I'm guessing my my officers re the pool of available hires refreshes each week. Uh, fight Blitz Cafe. Two truckers fell to uh, blows over a parking space and a lot near the diner. Cook tried to separate them, but was struck by a wild punch and is now lying on the ground motionless. Then Robbins and Purdy. Ooh, Kingston has got super low energy. No. Maybe it's full. Theft, St. John's Hospital. I don't have anybody. All the painkillers of the hospital pharmacy disappeared shortly after the building lost electricity. The pharmacy door shows no signs of forced entry. Shit. Everybody today's involved in an investigation. Damn it. I don't have anyone. Son of a bitch. Fight. Fender called officers unharmed. The longer we wait, the worse it is, as far as investigating. Hmm. Let's see. Amy Marvin D Donatello. <laughs> huh. 
It's not bad. Jack, my entire staff at the donut shop came down with the flu, and I haven't been able to find anyone else to help out. Can you please send me a couple of your men? I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind frying up some donuts. It's easy. I'll show them everything they know. My shop barely makes ends meet. I can't afford even one day of downtime. Oh, Lord. I mean, I'd like to help, but this is the type of thing where if I were an off, if I were an officer, I would uh, uh, be reporting this. Boston, Vasquez, and Austin. I'll get a little money out of it, and I don't mind. It's helping the community, but oof, that definitely falls under some uh, sketchy territory. Telling you, Chief, standing over the fryer is hellish work. I'd rather be dodging bullets than the spray from the boiling oil. But at least Mrs. Marvin promises she'll keep us in donuts through the rest of the year. <laughs> at least that was... Sans need help. Rubinovich, see him. We need backup. Some punks try to ca crash one of our poker games. We aren't about to let them walk with money. So now we've got ourselves a standoff. A couple officers on the scene would change the situation in our favor. St. Gibbons and Bukarika. I mean, at that point, it's armed robbery in a casino. Yes, I know. I'm going through elaborate lengths to try and justify helping the mob. Uh, let's see. Public indecency. During a special viewing of the thriller Law Abiding Max 3, a theater employee discovered that one of the members of the audience had removed his pants. The man noticed the employees was watching him and responded with the threat that he would cut the throats of everyone in the theater. Send Yancey and... Vasquez. I mean... That's an interesting one. Damn it, I can't believe I don't have an investigator for that. Vandalism in the suburb. Oh, whoops. Movie theater isn't too crowded and the film is in full swing. Carefully approach the man. Yeah. Fender call officers in harm, civilians in harm. Yeah, that, the other options were like total crap. Okay. The vandalism. Man who wished to remain anonymous reported that a group of teenagers had once again made fun of his name by writing insulting rhymes on his six-foot-wide garage. Man is enraged and threatened the next time he'll use a weapon to defend his honor. Well, fending your property is one thing, but... I've had a few incidences of uh, having my name made fun of way back in the day. Not so much anymore. A robbery report. Whoa! All investigate detectors are dead or fired. Wow! Oh, wow, that killed that investigation. That blows. Aha! Let's see what we got. Let's see. Yes. This definitely seems like an inside job. So, walking around, removing the brick. Well, actually, hold on. Uh, put this frame back. He broke the window, removed the brick, then placed it down, then cut the frame. Rafael Campos, museum security guard, who thought he'd earned some money for his old age from the new painting that everyone was talking about. God damn it. Yeah. Woo! Uh, storage space has been rented. Okay, we'll send Austin and Robbins. Theft in the res theft residential area. Oh. Okay, okay. I sent him to the storage place. That's why. Okay, I had two places I could go. 
Because, yeah, the, the bicyclist seemed possible, but the glass being on the outside didn't make any sense in that. No detectives sent to crime scene. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Gotta wait for... Then to check out... Uh, vendor caught. Excellent. Uh, case closed. You're able to arrest all suspects. Okay. 11 to 7. Okay. Doing... Uh, we're doing better. Building a bit of a lead. Declare him dead. I need to hire a new detective. Crap. Day 19. August 2nd. Rose Pierre, I'm pretty wealthy, but deeply unhappy. University of Freeburg tuition cost to increase. Mayor calls prosecutor's office to check Rose Pierre, Rose Pierre's statements for extremism. Um, uh, I don't know if I would say there was extremism or anything in what I said there, but oh, hardly enough to that. You silly dog, you. Uh, my father's funeral is today. Can you relieve me so I can go to the burial? Yes. Last few minutes I've been taking it press three times a day. Oh. You're the second person to bring that up, Samadhi. I, I'm, I'm going to say no on that one. Okay, we're on shift A. I need to hire an investigator for shift B. Oh, hardly enough, Hat. Salary. Hire Asian cops. Japanese businessman who must remain nameless will soon arrive in Freeburg. The city hopes to sign a major contract with him as our guest. He will examine many of our institutions, including police station. His visit is scheduled on August 5th. Please take care to ensure at least three Asian officers are working on that day. Uh, and this was the second. So... First, look at the labor market. Um, ooh. I'll need to hire more females. I'm going to take the detective with the most oomph. It, we'll call it that. Um, Caleb Forney isn't too bad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Norito Ozaka. Ozaki, what was today? Today was the second. Okay, today's the second. It's shift A. So, third is B. Fourth is A. So, I need B shift. So, let's see. Kochi. New guy I just hired. I need one more. I'm gonna... Move you to B shift and gonna move Bukarika to A shift. Swap around so that should have that one covered. Bomb threat, St. John's Cathedral. An irate lumberjack by the name of Grisham Frank claims that he planted a bomb in the cathedral. He says he'll blow up the building with everyone inside unless the police arrest the priest. Apparently, the priest convicted, convinced his recently deceased wife to refuse treatment at the hospital and ask for God's help instead. Oh, boy. Some Prado and Vandal. This is the kind of stuff that's always... Um, gosh, a touchy situation. So, I mean, I understand why some people would choose just to go with faith. They don't want to do all this stuff. But, you know, uh, I'm not going to get into it. That's going to cause, oh, that's going to open a huge can of worms that will never be shut. It's going to cause all kinds of issues. Cathedral's full of visitors. Announce a bomb threat and order everyone to evacuate immediately. Deploy all forces and attempt to find the bomb. Find the priest and begin the evacuation. Um... Ooh. I'm going to announce the bomb threat in order everyone to evacuate. An improvised explosive device has been discovered under the pew near the altar. 
Uh, just have to bury Kyle the wires. Ensure the cathedral has been evacuated. Whew! Fender caught officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. That could have been bad. Who? That. I'm always worried I'll pick the wrong thing, even if it sounds right, and cause things to go bad. Public indecency, everyday mall. Drunk teenager encouraged by a group of friends, stripped off his clothes the cash register, and attempted to purchase a pack of condoms. Seems like some sort of hazing or rite of passage. I'll just send some oddy. That's not much. Uh, monk. Chief, some guy in rags, is trying to enter the police station. Says that he's a Tibetan monk and wants to talk to our patrolman about the nature of violence. Yes, we'll let him in. He wants to say his piece, we'll let him say his piece. You know, I'll, I'll always try and find a non-violent solution when I can, but sometimes it's, you don't have much choice. Sands need help. Uh, as a safety precaution, we decided to change all the staff that work on the ranch. We've hired eight new maids from the neighboring city, but the bus they were taken got intercepted by the Vargas punks. Teach them that even our maids can't be trifled with. I mean, that's abduction at that point, so... Uh, public indecency report. Fender caught, officer unharmed. We haven't had much new story pieces, either. I knew they would probably go start, you know, kind of, uh... Getting a little bit more f far between, but... Sands need help. The Ice Arena hockey team, Mr. Sandones, is getting ready for an important match. The Ice Arena is closed during the training hours. The stadium director just reports some people in strange clothing breaking into the arena and climbing onto the stands. Well, I mean, they... That's forced entry, if nothing else. It's breaking and entering, I should say. Oi, oi, oi. You know, playing this now, I suddenly want to watch Hot Fuzz. <laughs> It's been too long since I watched that movie. If any of you haven't seen it, I, I definitely recommend it. It's a great comedy. Salt, Suburb. Crazy Woman just rang in. My God, the wretch is going to kill my baby. Please send everyone you can right away. The call then ended abruptly. Okay, we'll send Stovall and Mariniak. This could just be a false alarm. But I've got plenty of officers right now. I mean, and the problem is, I'm going to keep Sands in, and it's still going to come to bite me on the ass. I'm sure of it. He's going to be, he's not going to be appreciative enough. Ellie woman got, woman's cat got into a fight with the neighbor's dog. Dog ran back home with four other cats, jumped out of the house to the rescue. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was. That, and that's one of those ones I would be having words with the lady. Because, I mean, I love my animals, but, you know, that's not one of the ones... You call the police on the the neighbor whose dog was loose, not, you know, tracked like all this. Woman driving past the bridge saw two thugs grabbing a skinny guy by his legs and hanging him over the bridge railing. Man was struggling and shouting. Okay. Let's see how this goes. It's probably the last new call of the night. Hit and run report. No new frames found. God, what am I... It said it was a dark car. It said he hit the curb. Uh, hopped the curb and kept on going. Knocked a man over. Didn't even slow down. Get a couple of drunks out. Think someone's getting divorced. Hush. Saw two people in the car. They went right by me. I mean, the passenger seat had a beard. Which, that we've got. Those was being followed. Saw the guy everywhere. Said it looked like someone had some problem with him at the library. I mean... <sighs> well... Hush! Harley, enough. 
So we'll try. Oh, god damn it. Put that frame back. God. I'm not getting the order right. I've got to get. I've got to have something. Attempted murder, report, offenders caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. The fact that she saw it and my officers were able to get there fast enough to actually do anything is more amazing than anything. At that one, you figured they'd have tossed them off the bridge and been long gone by the time we got there. 13 to 8. Okay, we've got almost double. We're, we're doing pretty good now. Okay, we'll end the day. Construction of new school postponed again. Freeburg to host exhibition of children's drawings. New federal law allows criminals to money launder money more easily. <laughs> Criminals have been money laundering for ages, and that's not going to change. Percy didn't come into work today. Yep. It's like he course assigned custody case of my children today. They're crying afraid. I'll let you go today. My dog died yesterday. I'm just... Okay, let's see. I'm really, that's one. I'll let you, Kingston. I'm too tired. Uh, I can't, Ashiro. Not today. Can't have that many of you. Oh, okay. Whew. Boyd. Is everything okay, Jack? I'm not calling in the middle of a job. No, 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 you're okay. Did you find her? Yes, yes, I found her. Nothing shocking, don't worry. She's living with an insurance agent in the suburbs. He's 31 years old, recently divorced. He has a funny car, you know, like in that movie where that... Did uh, you talk to her? Yeah, we talked. More like I talked and she basically cried. God, she hasn't cried so much since high school. You know, she was dating this boy from a restaurant and, oh, oh what was his name? And so, then I, Laura, she'll be back? Of course she'll be back. She just needs time. Harley. Time? You mean once she gets tired of screwing the insurance agent? Jack, you're talking about my daughter. Yeah, I know. I just, I want to, well, I, I just want her to come back as soon as possible. Don't worry, I'm with you. We just need a little patience. I know it's asking a lot, Jack, but you really just gotta be patient. Wait for my call. All right, again, I'll wait for the call. Yes, understood. I know the situation is asking a lot from you too, Mrs. Markham. Thank you, and please call me anytime. Jack? Yeah? You okay for money? Excuse me? Well, you know, where the papers were talking about your resignation, they said you and Laura were a little tight, and I thought maybe you'd... Good God. <laughs> Jack? Jack? Yay. He wasn't going to have any of that. Well, at least we know where our, our missing wife has run off to. Okay. Let's take a look. Job labor market again. Come on. Uh, uh, still nobody great. Oh, okay. I've got something at City Hall. Uh. Um. You know, all I can do is say no. So early conduct, playground. Young mother reported that an old man in rags entered the playground, climbed the hill and began shouting, The universe is made of suffering and hatred. I will kill all of you. The outraged mother shouted back, Go away, you're scaring the children. Send Robbins and Vasquez. Yeah, somebody's hit a little too... Uh, uh, uh hit the nihilism button a little too hard that morning. It sounded great in my head and then I tried to get it out. I tried to actually say it. My mouth was like, dur oh, dur 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 Let's see. Fender called officers unharmed. 
Good. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's just sign seven, fail, sign zero. Okay. Political views, I guess it's gonna it's gonna be more, you know, them uh, bomb threat ghetto. The anonymous tip just came in. Some thugs are messing around with plastic explosives in the basement of an abandoned house and are handing it out to children along uh, to out to children along with toys. I mean, technically, plastic explosives is entirely safe without a detonating cap, um, unless it's just some like homemade stuff, in which God knows how volatile it is. Send Austin and Gibbons. I think it's Gibbons' first assignment. Cause yeah. Plus, explosives is perfectly safe. You can microwave it, you can treat it like Play-Doh, you can do anything with it without it being issues. Um, for all we know, this is Play-Doh, and somebody's, you know, doing uh, um, somebody's imagination is running wild. But, eh, Better safe than sorry. Uh, oh, situation's more than they expected, so we'll send Vasquez, Robbins, and Purdy. Shiro. Okay, it hasn't switched over yet, I don't think. Let's see, assault. Two trucks collided in a country road near the forest, and police were called by motorcyclists who were driving past. He said that the one truck rolled over and caught fire, but the driver managed to escape the flames. Grabbed a stick from the side of the road, set it on fire, is now threatening the other driver who's locked himself inside his truck. Bomb threat report. Fender escaped. Officers unharmed. Civilian killed. Found explosives. Well, sh that, that wasn't... That could have gone worse. At least none of my officers were killed. Uh, trying to see Shirakuchi, Ozaki. Okay, I needed three. I uh, wish it would show me. Sands need help in suburbs. The wife of a young banker recently helped us make quite a substantial deal. Just called in tears, saying some creeps cornered her husband in the garage. Says they tied him up and are threatening him to light him on fire. Yeah, that's got to be dealt with. Oh, God, hopefully Oshiro comes back from that. That's all I need. Oh, I just realized that. Uh, driver's brandishing a burning stick like a torch and striking the other truck's windshield, attempting to get to the other driver. Uh... Attempt to restrain the assailant. Attempt to restrain the assailant. Yeah. Okay. God. Dark colored car comes around the corner. Hop the curb. Wait a minute. Maybe that was my problem. Clear all. Okay. So, this, this, this. Whoa, whoa, I screwed that up. Put that frame back, put that frame back. Put, oh, whoops. Put that one in, then that one. Oh, god damn. Ah, uh, that was my problem. William Holden frequents local bars. Repeat arrest for driving under the influence. I don't know why it does that. Uh, frequents the bar, but that's tomorrow. I'm better off waiting because my lead investigator to my lead investigator's there because that'll help. Armed robbery pawn shop. Man armed with a gun burst into the pawn shop and demanded that all the money and the valu valuables put into a bag. I'll send you three. Oh good, Ozaki Oshiro's coming back. He's not dead. Unless it's the mobsters coming back and they're getting ready to dump his body on the police station door. Uh 
Some associates that were planning to meet and discuss the Vargas situation. The meeting was supposed to happen in a forest outside the city, where scouts sighted a group of punks hanging around. Sure, we'd like to see the look on their faces when the police were all up out of the blue. Uh... Let's see, armed robbery report. Fender called officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Ooh, okay. Found loot found jewelry. <sighs> Sorry about that. Bring it in the police station. Twenty days in, I've got 160 days, and I've only got not quite fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I still have a good ways to go. First priority is not dying. Okay, this is probably the end of the day. So take care of the hit and the run, hit and run in morning. Okay, yeah, we're doing super well now. Uh, Shiro's in bad state. Oh. Oh boy. Hopefully he gets his energy back up. I don't need him off on the 22nd. Money allocated from our stadium reconstruction now missing. Homeless man wins $23 million lottery. Looming epidemic. The new flu? Oh. It's a looming epidemic. I was like, how is there a looming epidemic? And I was like, oh wait a minute. I'm thinking looming in an entirely different manner. Bozo and Marniak didn't come back to work. Rumor ha has it they're packing for Tibet. Oh, god damn it. Son of a bitch. Tibetan monk, the monk got to him. I should have realized that that was gonna, that that could be a, could happen. I didn't even think that. I need to hire for shift A. Okay. Hit and run. Send... Van Dahl and Smith. Uh, man, it was today. Hire Asian cops. This t needs to be done tomorrow. I hire one more detective. I need to hire two as it is. Um, need for shift A. And send you to shift B. SWAT upgrade. Okay, so we'll increase their efficiency. And hire another police officer. Woo! Yeah! I like that. Um, Hire him for shift A. Hire you for shift B. Um... Uh, we'll hold off for now. Oh, I got another increase. Okay, robbery. Port warehouse alarm has gone off in one of the port where in one of the port warehouses. Guard signed to the side is not responding, but the storekeeper says it's nothing unusual. Apparently, garbage is an old man who regularly drinks and even sleeps there in the warehouse. The room where the alarm went off stores frozen fish. I oh, I can't. I can only send one. Okay. So, hire another good officer. It's always good. Say needs help. Some Vargas men are flamethrowers burned down the city parkway named in San's honor. It's definitely a job for the police. Yeah, if they're bringing flamethrowers into the into this. Hit and run. Fender caught. Case closed. Who? Uh, double check something. Okay, Shiro's got some energy, which is good. Okay. I'm not going to be able to give a share of the day off, but afterward, be a different story. Alarm was triggered by a flock of birds. The guard was drunk and in the company of a prostitute. Well, I mean, we can catch a prostitute for, well, prostitution. I'd say, at, at that point, I would be hiring myself a new guard. Oh, uh, 
Let's see, Rape in the Ghetto. An elderly man while taking a nighttime walk with his dog spotted a man and a woman entering a dark alley. He then heard the woman cry up, Help, he's trying to rape me. Uh, let's see. Sand, Powers, and Prado. I mean, he talks about it as night and that he reports it in, like, noon of the next day. Some of the descriptions don't necessarily fit with the time. And things like that. Unless he's reporting this the day after, which is not exactly a great time. Let's see. Robbery, drugstore. An unknown person or persons undercover night broke into a pharmacy through a window and stole some expensive drugs. The money in the cash register was untouched. Put Beasley on the case. Carjacking suburb. Suburb. <laughs> uh, see, an elderly woman who was shutting her windows for the night noticed two teenagers across the street breaking the window of a car to get inside. Smith and Van Dahl. I was like, it's a little early to be calling it a night. A woody man is lying unconscious beside a woman in a torn dress. The woman is in a state of shock and hiding something behind her back. Uh, pointing on the woman order, raise her hand. Let's settle down. Don't worry, you're not in any trouble. We have a witness. Yeah, she would have been just defending herself. If at at at, at the uh the most. Unless it was an elaborate scheme to murder him by luring him down there, claiming it was rape, and then uh, uh, then killing him. Uh, municipal assignment today in Freeburg. We'll host a concert by pop singer Gennaro Crespo. Promise concert organizers to help security. Please send your best people. Uh, I've got a couple of them coming back. that make the city a little happier with me. Let's see. Night before last, everything was fine. When I left, I closed up the pharmacy like usual, went home. It was a little past nine, exactly half past nine. I was at the bus stop, that I'm sure of. In the morning, I went back to work as usual. As soon as I saw the broken window, I called the police. Yeah, I hang around at night near the pharmacy, but I don't remember much. One guy said uh, to drink for my health and threw a $50 bill in my hat. Uh, I had a little celebration. After that, I ran to the store. That's all I remember. I woke up in the morning and the cops were all over. I can't remember the man's face. I was more interested in the $50. All I can recall is light struck something under his hat. Something like a doctor's clothes. Which we know somebody just robbed the hospital of all their a bunch of their drugs. <sighs> James came home a couple hours later than regular, but that's not so unusual. The insurance refused to pay for the treatments he needs, so we're always short on money. He's always trying to find part-time work. Not that anything ever pans out. He's willing to take on even the most difficult and dangerous work. Yesterday, for example, when he changed his clothes, stones and debris fell out. I'm starting to really worry about the hellish jobs he's getting himself into. He might be the... Mr. Duff might be the one who robbed him robbed himself. Uh, those damn bums are always begging near my pharmacy or up to no good. Obviously one of them thought he'd be daring to take me for all I'm worth. Look at the guy. He's barely keeping it, keeping on his feet. Where do you get the money for all the alcohol? I've never seen anyone even throw him a dime. The medicine they stole is the Praza caps. It's very expensive, but there was there's not a lot in the, of street interest. So Dad will sell in the black market. I don't think it was even stolen for resale. Huh. Interesting. A carjacking report. Fender caught. Officers unharmed. I mean... That would be... F <sighs> a few things don't make sense. Why, If you were trying to steal it to resell the drugs... Uh, let's see, Sandy needs help. Engagement party turned into a bomb crash when our guest discovered a powerful explosive right under the banquet table. Our experts already defused it, but it would be nice if the police reassured our frightened guests and confirmed that the situation was under control. So, um, if it were the pharmacist, you'd think he'd know there was no street value, so he wouldn't do it. But he says he left on time. His wife says he came home a couple hours late, but that's not unusual. But, I mean, he could have gone to the bus station and gone anywhere, so it's hard to say from that. Salt vegetable shop. Uh, two women and a man were seen attacking a black couple, smacking them around with boots, no less. Local shopkeeper warned that he was calling the police, at which time the man ran away, but the two women continued their strain the strange assault. 
Smith and Van Dahl. Yeah, something... Uh, uh, there's something funny with that whole robbery. Because, I mean, if the bum stole it, it there's not really anything to sell it. There's no street va real street value in it. So, uh, unless he said it was something else and just somebody bought it. Bought it. Um, yeah, that's an interesting one. Uh, assault. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Yeah, there's a f more than a few things that don't make sense there. Need a little bit more info. I mean, the... Robbery report got three new frames. Let's see. Put a bunch of drugs in. Uh, let's say. Uh, one guy said, "Drink my health." Right at the store, I saw my right eyes. The other guy light struck something under his jacket, something like doctor's clothes. I mean, that one, he's lot, he's doing the messing with the door, so there's not enough frames to go by here. We don't have enough as it is. Do really anything with it. Not even make just like an educated guess. There's a lot of holes in this one. Uh... No active gangs, no archive cases. Yeah, I guess since that one, since my officer, since my detective was killed, there's just nothing I can do until I get another lead. Fuck. End the day. 17 to 9. We're doing good. Not as good as we were, but we're still doing pretty good. Okay, end the day. Ugh, excuse me. Jenner found dead after stampede at school disco. Gay club admitting minors. That would be definitely bringing up a lot of questions. Millionaire bum donates everything to church. <laughs> While I was climbing upstairs, I started to feel dizzy. Yes, Kingston. I'm sorry, Ashira. You have to be here today. Um, here, you can be promoted. You've been one of my better officers as it is anyway, so I'm going to try not to send him out much. Okay, we got that done. So that'll help. Um, let's see. Affairs, police station, let's look at the higher pool. Shift B. Damn, Shift B's got plenty of cops. I need to hire on for Shift A. Hire Frank, he's average. Oh, man. I, 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 Percy, um, is a terrible officer, but I can't fire him. That's going to cause all kinds of trouble. I wonder if he'll even let me in here. Yeah, it's not even an option. Structure and property, Chine Chinatown dormitory. Student reported seeing a truck driving to the yard at the ho hostel. A uh, fat man climbed out and began slicing up a bench with a chainsaw. Some other students tried to intervene, but the man threatened them with the chainsaw, saying, I asked you nicely to keep quiet at night. Now you can park your yellow asses somewhere, else, someplace else. Oh, Lord. So, Nozaki and Vasquez. I'll send Percy. Maybe he can get... Maybe we can make him improve, but he doesn't seem to have any kind of drive to. So... I mean, he's just absolutely awful. But maybe. Woo! Really? Surprising. 
Saw the Deadly Weapon, Johnson Jurgen and Katz Law Firm. Call came in from Secretary Offices of da 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 da. She reports that a woman wearing an expensive fur coat and high heels entered the offices of the senior partners of the firm and asked Secretary not to disturb them. Shortly thereafter, shots rang out from the office. Uh, we'll send Yancey and Kochi. And send a couple more. Okay, reinforcements just arrived. Let's see. Commander call officers unharmed. At least improved. It'll take some time. Maybe I can make an officer out of him yet. I don't know if his energy level will go up. Uh, assault with a deadly weapon. The off store is closed, but the sounds of men screaming, gunshots, and breaking glass can be heard. Uh, it's about the secretary's keys. Bald man as soon as lying in the pool of blood. Woman in the fur coat standing on the table, taking aim at two other men who are hiding behind an overturned bookcase. Just drop your weapon right now. Fender call officers unharmed. Uh, civilians unharmed. It's hard, really, it's hard to define it that way, but they were unha they were harmed before we got there. Some punks ransacked the house of a family member. It seems like they were looking for something, something other than money. Maybe a notebook with a list of important contests. Looks like these scuttling bags before they do any real damage. Well, I mean, breaking and entering, uh, um, and robbery, so. Next time I'll have to let Shiro off. Mr. Boyd, the TV show I produced, just for All, suffered a terrible drop in ratings last month. Our poll suggests that, in, that our viewers stopped finding the shows believable. We're starting. We're currently shooting the next season for one episode. We need a real cop who will portray a cop pervert who's kidnapping young girls, girls and raping them in his car. We don't have a huge budget, but I think we can afford a couple thousand for you and for the cop who will play the part in the show. Plus, everyone in the city will see him in the show. No, that is huge negative against the police. I mean, you know, no, no, uh, not going to act like it doesn't happen. It does happen, unfortunately. People do it, you know. Hopefully, they get caught. But, yeah. No. I'm not going to put one of my officers and get them uh, um, put under the spotlight. You know, get everybody thinking, oh, there's the rapist from TV. Let's see. Bomb threat call just came in from Bank Branch uh, in the center of the city. Man entered, wired with explosives. He threatened to blow himself up along with everyone nearby unless he's allowed to speak with the press and TV within the hour. Man claims that the bank took away his house after failure to repay a loan, a loan which he says he never took out. We'll send SWAT and three officers. I mean, I'm one of those ones. Uh, I'm all for helping out, and I'd be all for doing that stuff. But yeah, that's just going to ruin an officer. People are going to just, you know, remember that. And it's going to put uh, a very bad light in the things to begin with. Better caught officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. That went well. But yeah, I am as as much as I might want the money, but that's going to really look bad in the long run. I need to make more money, as it is. Saints need help. Family has several city officials on the payroll. One of them is ushering some valuable items through city transport system. The goods are slated to ship out tomorrow, but it looks like there's some punks who want to dump the cargo overboard before it even clears the dock. A man in the port says they bribed some guards. Too bad they weren't smart enough to bribe the police. Send Kochi and Purdy. Yeah, I mean, that's destruction of property and things like that. I know, I keep trying to uh, uh, defend what I'm going after, which, I mean, they, they are committing crimes. But, I mean, as it is, the biggest problem is all this is off the books. That's the biggest problem. Wow. At least I'm setting them after actual crimes. Store manager reports that a long-haired old man with a large knife broke in. He's ripping out the lining of our sofas, shouting, Where's my money? Put this cook at, kook in a straight jacket. He's obviously sick. Uh, anyways, come quick. We're hiding in the back. Uh, we'll send Yancey and Gibbons. Somebody lost their money in the sofa. I think he's forgotten what sofa it's in. 
Ugh. Get all stopped up. See destruction property report. Uh, there really was a bundle of cash hidden inside one of the sofas. Interesting. Bring it to the police station. Yes, I'd ask the mafia to sell money. Which, I mean, I would be asking them to launder it and give me a cut, as it is, but... Nineteen to nine. Okay. Sands is doing good. Okay. Yes, Ashiro will be getting the day off next time. Day 23. Truckers unhappy with suburban roads. Freeburg gymnast wins the regional com competition. Fire at the puppet theater. Two actors dead. Okay, I think that's going to be a good place to call for today. We've made some uh, uh, decent progress. And, um... Um... Gotten a little bit into this uh, war. Um, as it is, this is been about nine, ten days, or start of day ten, maybe. Um, I, it's, I think they may sound like it's going to go on for two or three weeks. So, hopefully, next time we go through, that'll be the end of the war. I don't know why the image got stretched on there. But anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Those of you who are watching on watching it live on Twitch, and those of you who made it this far on YouTube, um, I will... Not be streaming tomorrow, sadly, because have shopping to do. Can't help that. But anyway, hope you guys have a good day. Um, everything goes well. Take care. Bye.